Well, I want to welcome everybody out to Monroe County today. Thanks for coming out. My name is John Nicely. I'm a news anchor reporter for KMOV TV, and I was honored to be asked to uh, be a part of this event today. Um, I'm also uh, getting involved in real estate investing uh, with my partner here, so I've got uh, some interest in Monroe County myself in that area. Uh, appreciate you taking your time to uh, join us today. Uh, you know, Monroe County is a great place to do business, and that's what we're going to be highlighting throughout today. Uh, before we get started with the presentation, we want our local elected officials and the members of the Monroe County Economic Development Council to stand. The council is what's putting on this event today, so if you all would please stand. And take note, uh, after our event today, uh, they will all be around to answer any questions that you might have. We're going to introduce our uh, first speaker, Bob Lewis, and as Bob makes his way up here, I'm going to give his, uh, his background. He's the uh, president of Development Strategies, Inc. He's going to provide an overview of economic and real estate trends in Monroe County. He's a native of Glencoe, Illinois. Bob holds a city and regional planning degree from SIUE and a business economics degree from Miami University. He's a member of the American Institute of Certified Planners and is a certified economic developer with the International Economic Development Council. He's a former chair of Citizens for Modern Transit and new board member of the Missouri Main Street Program and current chair of St. Louis University's Urban Planning Advisory Board. Bob was part of the team that founded Development Strategies in 1988 and was named president in 2000. Bob directs economic planning and implementation assignments for Development Strategies and is going to provide an overview of economic and real estate trends in Monroe County. So you can tell Bob is qualified subject. Uh, please join me in welcoming Bob Lewis. Well, thank you all. I had uh, kind of a joy to be here. Now that I see where I'm standing, I can't see what I'm talking about. The screen is in front of me, and the other one's back there, so I'm going to hit the do what John is doing. Is it just about here? Yeah. You guys have worked with mites all the time. Growth, so you, just, you can put it all on the same graph. Um, 
And you can see St. Clair and Madison County, something we've known for decades. They're very sluggish. In fact, lost population. St. Clair County has lost some population, regaining it. Um, meanwhile, maybe some of that growth or what was in, in St. Clair County, in effect, has gone has come down here to Monroe County. So huge growth rates relative to the rest of the region. See, and you can see that when Paul and I talk at various meetings, and say, geez, I got this development proposal, and these guys are coming in, and you can see why that, that's moving. Um, but promoting it even more and taking advantage of that. Now, that said, there's also the metro area here, that purple line, uh, growth rate, uh, the whole state of Illinois. The whole United States, the Orange Line. The Orange Line is pretty much straight and has been forever. The United States is very predictable in how much we grow. A little more than 1% a year on average. As, well, Monroe County in those later in these later years, growing faster than that. So we're getting uh, here in, in Monroe County, it's sort of more than our fair share, but that's a, that's a good thing in terms of uh, it's offering a good quality of life, business environment, and so forth. You can see that reflected in some job counts as well. So here, slow start with jobs over this period of time here. This is actually jobs that are located within Monroe County. And then it's faster recently, but you can see it sort of slips to the top. Well, and also to the top, no matter what county or city or nation you're in right now. But we had that almost 80% increase in population over these 40 years, 169% increase in jobs. So things are moving in here uh, impressively. Impressive rate. Typically, we get job growth, or pardon me, population growth suburbanizes, and we have seen that certainly in Monroe County, particularly Waterloo and in Columbia, and then jobs show up. Well, we're, that pattern is happening again, it's fairly aggressive. Um, so, a nice uh, growth rate uh, regarding uh, the economy of, of Monroe County. Uh, but again, not as many jobs as north of this. There's a lot of jobs in St. Clair and in Madison County. Now, the job growth rates, again, same idea with this indexing over here. Uh, very much similar in terms of the, uh, when comparing population growth rates. It's fast here in, the re in, the, in this county as a rate of growth. So it's going quickly, and again, growing more quickly than the, the United States job growth overall. So healthy signs, and one reason why I think we're getting a full room here today, because people recognize that there's some opportunities down here perhaps not reflected strong enough. Now, I will say this certainly about St. Clair County and to a little lesser degree, Madison County. Uh, there's been a lot of growth in those two counties above the bluff line, basically the east of 157, Route 157. As the river communities have emptied out, floodplain issues, older, aging, manufacturing, all these kinds of issues, things have gone quite well um, in Edwardsville, Collinsville, Belleville, and so forth.
St. Louis County or maybe even up to, up to 55 in St. Clair. Um, and, uh, but still, uh, a little bit on the sluggish side there, it's a new county in the suburban sense. Definitely more prosperous. I was really impressed when these numbers came out. I went, well, okay, small, kind of in the old days, rural. People think about it as a rural county today, but it's suburbanizing. Maybe. Well, these are all um, 2012 dollars. I just turned over 2012 dollars, even though the last end point was 2010, uh, per capita income. Um, down there at 22.8.
high relative percentage out of count numbers, and yet it's right at about one now, a healthy number. You, know, you don't worry about it. You say, we got too many retail jobs. No, you really don't, uh, given the scale of what's going on here. Where the, where the strength is, it's still in farming. That's why so many of the attitudes when we're getting to a rural place. Well, in many ways it is. That's not necessarily a bad thing, by the way, that number has become that ratio has been coming down over the years. This is just 2010. But it's still there's a lot of farming and related kinds of agricultural jobs that sometimes they pick up the other ones and that give you more detail if you really wanted it, but you don't have to go there. But it's you know one of the strengths of the economy here is still the ag industry. And but the other stuff's pretty tight. The finance and insurance. Who the fuck? A bunch of bankers out here, I know better than lunch. Um, but that's Part of that's also a reflection of real estate, certainly above one a little bit. That's a reflection of the growth that's going on in the county, and we need those kinds of uh, services and skills, real estate development, real estate rental and leasing, finance and insurance, so forth, to carry those things on. But it's impressive, lodging and restaurants, a little more. But there are you know, very few things that are very, or nothing really is significantly over one. Pretty balanced growth going on here. Paul, everybody in town, I think you'd be congratulated. Maybe it's by happenstance to be a bit more hand, but all things considered, Monroe County is doing quite well. There we have it. We did have one more slide to say exactly that. It's changing, so I, I'm a planner, as you heard from SIU. We got my planning degree 430 years ago. Um, the, um, but so, you know, we, we look at these numbers, they, now communities make sure you're planning for it. Economic development planning, certainly comprehensive master planning, land use, but you know, plan on those kinds of things. You're all doing it, by the way. It's small but quick and nimble, I like to look at it. Surely you've, you've already done fairly well. Keep an eye on those kinds of the metrics that we're talking about here and, and, and attract and be nimble about it and adapt to the new economy. We're just talking about the table here, even about the television industry, you know, how quick and nimble you got to be there. And sometimes we weren't, you know, <laughs> and, and making up for it now. And a healthy economy, as you saw, with those location pushes. But as always, these things need to be nurtured. secondary education system. A lot of this uh, Bob was uh, just highlighting himself. Uh, Monroe County's strategic plan identifies five niches for targeted recruitment efforts as part of the overall economic development strategy. We got entrepreneurial activity, food processing, health care, branch headquarter offices, and tourism. So I want to highlight uh, Columbia. Uh, recent headlines there you see uh, Recently, ECF spends a million dollars for new Illinois headquarters. Dave Sinclair to open a dealership. Maverick Technologies lands Holy Grail with Dow. Uh, these are just a few of the headlines uh, recently for Columbia. Main Street is thriving in Columbia. You have new shops and restaurants arriving. Building owners have been sprucing up their uh, facades. Mer merchants have formed an association to guide joint marketing efforts. The city has been awarded streetscapes makeover. And I got to tell a funny story as I, I tripped over the word facades there. True story, when I was anchoring a newscast, um, one of my brain dead moments, I said, facades? Yeah, true story. I almost said it just now, too. <laughs> so uh, planning for the future, uh, comprehensive planning activities are building upon Columbia's reputation as an active living community. That's highlighted there. I want to talk about Valmire. Uh, Valmire offers commercial, residential, and retail building sites. And this is just west of the village is Rock City. It's an underground complex. We're going to be hearing more about that later. 
Valmire, the 594 acre Salt Lake Point Land and Water Reserve, contains three trails totaling five miles in length. It offers breathtaking views as well as more than a thousand species of plants, insects, and animals. Multiple local civic organizations and churches, numerous festivals and events. The local K 12 school system offers opportunities for community involvement as well in Valmire. And I want to talk about Waterloo. The retail coach, a national consulting firm, has determined Waterloo's retail trade area to be over 60,000 in population. Waterloo provides municipal electric, natural gas, water, and sewer service within the city limits. All utility dollars stay in Waterloo and continue to work for local citizens and businesses. In Waterloo business currently under construction, here's just a few they wanted to highlight. We've got the uh, Reebling Chiropractic, Children First Learning Center, Garden Place Assisted Living, Legacy Place Assisted Living, and uh, Burger King, which is remodeling uh, their exterior and interior. And of course, you can always find out more online. And that is that for that presentation.